Chase Barnes Jr. served two tours overseas in the Marine Corps, one in Iraq and one in Fallujah. And it was during his tour in Fallujah where Keith experienced a life changing event. One day it was a beautiful day. I never forget. It. I mean, I just said how beautiful it was when we were outside and you heard that whistling sound and it was an RPG. And the RPG hit the side of the truck. So, I mean, he hit the side of the truck, uh, threw me against the truck. I was out for a couple minutes, um, came to, and, you know, we were turning fire, you know. Uh, ever since then, you know, we were dealing with the migraines, and, you know, it's been, I mean, I reflect back on that sometimes. I, I try not to. I mean, it's something that sticks with you. He is still dealing with the effects of that attack, experiencing migraines on a daily basis, as well as some symptoms of PTSD. But Keith knows he always has his family at his back to love him. My family make things a lot easier. Like I find myself sometimes pushing them away, things like that. I uh, find myself, uh, you know, kind of snapping on my kids sometimes and everything like that. But I mean, when they're around me and they give me that love and they give me that affection that I need, it's like the simplest thing, like I love you and a hug. I mean, it changes everything, you know, it really does. And I mean, they show that love and I mean, it's the best therapy I can have, honestly, you know, having somebody in your corner. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, veterans that don't have anyone, you know, no one that love me. And I have tons of people that love me, you know, and uh, even sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes I might feel like they don't because my mind says, oh, well, no one loves you and you're not worth being loved. You know, they come around to just remind me basically that, you know, we're here for you. If you need anything, we're there, you know, so I love them. Keith and his family live with his father, but he knew they needed a place to call home, so he applied for a mortgage-free home through the Military Warrior Supports Foundation, and he waited. I was just sitting there saying how things are so bad and things aren't going for me, and I'm praying like God, please just let something happen. And you know, uh, you know, when I said that, and I, you know, I heard about the house and everything, I wasn't sure, you know, I was like, well, you know, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't, I, I don't know, but I won't put too much into saying, yeah, I got the house and everything and, you know, be let down. Elevated 100% mortgage-free home located in Harvey, Louisiana. Keith Burns, you are our everyday hero. So once I got that call and he said, congratulations, I don't know, I felt like, felt like I was floating, you know. Uh, it seriously was like a great moment. Great moment for Keith, the one he could not wait to share with his family. It was just so exciting, you know, uh, and I remember, you know, uh, I was sitting there and I was just, I couldn't wait to just tell everybody, oh, you know what, we got the house, we got the house, and I'm losing it, like I, I'm really like excited because this is actually something good that's happened to me. Keith says he has said thank you more times than he can remember since being awarded a new home. Those thank yous, he says, are more for his kids who now have rooms of their own. I look at my family, you know, like I appreciate it's done for me, but I'm looking at my family as far as, you know, my kids get to get their own space, you know, get their room and say, oh, this is my room and, you know, can say that, oh, we're gonna go by Paul Paul's house, but we're not staying at Paul Paul's house, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a big thing for me, you know? And uh, I couldn't be more thankful, appreciative of it. I mean, it's, it's just, the, it's a blessing of all blessings.